Okay, so today we are going to do a bougie one. This is an overseas CR fashion book. And this is from Barnes & Noble. If you go in there, they have some, some fashion books. And it's a magazine. It was like 20 bucks. They have them in, you don't get to see them first. You have to just take it on, on faith you're gonna like it. And this is my first look at it too. We're looking at it together. Well, I'm gonna have to move this stuff, hang on. It's giant. It's a giant fashion book. There's not even enough room for it on my desk. Okay, here we go. So first off, we have this thing. I don't know what that is. Who would that be? Okay, so this is Gucci and some dudes. I don't know who these dudes are. Look, a really tall guy. That's a snazzy suit. I think I've used him with something. The I think he's the red red page in my um, painted journal. Balenciaga. He looks like oh they are mannequins. <laughs> I was like <laughs> I was like he looks like a mannequin. All right, so this is a fancy. Oh, there's a whole thing in here. See our men. Those were just the. Those were just the ads. Well, this is jazzy. It's about traveling. It must be a travel issue, you think? Who is this guy? This is the guy with the J Balvin. J Balvin, I, don't, I haven't heard of him. Sometimes Josiah tells me about people. He looks like somebody Josiah would like, but I have not heard of him. All right, so let's see if there's anything in here we want to use. I don't, I'm not much of a guy collager, although we did do that Chris Pine together, and that was good. Oh, that's interesting. He has all kinds of different looks. The Flight Attendant. Instagram sen sensation with a penchant for pencil skirts and heels. Now, you may think to yourself that men should not wear pencil skirts and heels. I think that people should wear whatever the heck they feel like. So I am not offended by that. That having been said, nothing in there jumped out. Okay, so we are going to, should we start at the back? Why is half of it upside down? Is it all, oh, that's very pretty half. So half of it is upside down. Okay, so these are Valencia mannequins. Okay, so half of it's upside down. So let's look at this side first. I have to figure out what I'm gonna do with this because this is gonna be huge. I love her figure. You know me, I like a big girl because I'm sick of skinny white girls. Okay, so we're going to put a pin in her figure. No offense if you're a skinny white girl. Desi, my daughter. It, oh, Jesus. She's going to her first dance. She bought, <laughs> she bought this beautiful, well, Daddy bought it for her, but my husband bought her this beautiful, tiny green dress. And let me tell you, if I had her figure, I would be wearing tiny green dresses everywhere, right? I am not, I am not shaming anybody who has a really nice figure. Oh, there's a stewardess, flight attendant. She's beautiful. Um, now I kind of want a big head for my lady. I want to be, I have a tiny dog. I want to be the kind of person that carries around their tiny dog in a park, pocketbook. Anyway, so let's stay on track, people. Uh, Desi has a dress that Johnny said is as big as the bags that he carries. Like, it's a small dress. I can't remember what he said. It was very funny at the time. All right. I like that border. We're not getting much diversity in our kind of pictures, are we? Or colors for backgrounds. 
I've done this girl before. Her head is giant in this book, though. Do we want to do her giant head with this girl's body? I think that may even be, like, I think it would work in my big, in my big uh, book, but I don't think it's going to work in this book. But that is a giant, like, that's huge. Oh, we forgot. We need some stuff. So there's, okay, I'm going to start pulling stuff out of here. So I am going to take this out for these giant pieces of jewelry. Maybe use this for the background. You know me, I'm not precious about my magazines. I kind of love this dress. I mean, like, not for magazine collage, but just for life. If we need to, we could pull out that silver jewelry. I'm not getting a whole bunch of vibe of I'm going to have a good collage day. This could be a little bit of a challenge. Okay, I want I want to use, I'm going to use this girl's body because I love it. And then we're gonna find her a head from the other side. Okay. Why is this so big? Issue 18, issue 18. It's just, it's just a giant book. I don't understand Europeans sometimes. They have the best magazine. Well, I mean in the very good way. I'm jealous, jelly, jelly, and then sometimes I just don't understand them because I don't get the plastic thing. But again, you do you. Oh, that's pretty jewelry. I'm going to put a pin in that. I have to figure out what I'm going to do. Oh, at least we're finding some stuff. There's some jewelry. That could be a hat. This is rough. This is getting, a, ooh, so there's some pretty pick colors. Okay, so we're getting something. I was getting a little nervous. A doggle, oh my gosh, who knew there'd be a doggle? Those look like somebody that Josiah would like. Ooh, this is a pretty page. Pretty colors in this page, kind of an oriental feeling. Ooh, I'm going to do this because I want the red and then maybe a little of the yellow and the green. So now we're going to have to look for more red. Can we see any more red? Whew, that's a rough one. She has planes on her head. I just, that's not enough red to pull out. Although there's some cute things in there. Let's take that out. this so the other thing you don't know is this is the most amazing paper it is heavy and just gorgeous that having been said this is a very large magazine oh i don't have a head for my girl oh, there's another big girl there we go that's gonna be our girl's head right there i think hold on let me find my other girl No, I think we are going to have to do it in our tall journal. It's just hard to show you things in the tall journal, but I like this girl. Okay, good job, us. Um, let's take her dress out for some edges. Pretty. Interesting see that much over here in the United States. We see girls kissing all the time. That's fine. I like the angry elf. That's really interesting hair. I kind of love her, except for she just seems so mad. All right, there's some pink. If I wanted to do a dark... Oh, look at us, Tom Ford. Good job, Tom. Can we use, let's see. You never know. I may use those Tom Ford glasses for her eyes. 
we may be going freaky because I need the red anyways. I'm not going to pull out this red until I know I need it because I might need it for another project sometime. But we're going to try that. Oh, she's, see, in my head, I'm very tall and skinny and stylish. And in the real world, I am a short, roundish, Hispanic woman. So, my insides do not necessarily match my outsides. Okay, do we feel like we have anything besides a giant woman with her head? I don't. So, I'm going to have to find some stuff. I'm going to go with a weird lady on a fence. That's going to be cute on the bottom. That's going to be her friend this time. I'm going to cut this lady out. But I'm going to have this lady on this fence to be in the front. And then the lady in the back. We have that jewelry. Do we need some more jewelry? Didn't we have a chance to get some more jewelry? I don't want to ruin her big head just to, just to scavenge her jewelry. Let's see if we can find... One more little thing. There's a plane. I don't know if you would know it was a plane. Would you know it was a plane if I cut it out? I think you would know that this one is a plane, but it's it's um split up. Oh, this plane's split up too. I can't do that. I'm not. I'm not cutting out that plane. You're not fooling me, plane. What's this? Giraffes. That's a border. I'm just trying to see if we can find anything in the background to add. Those grapes aren't very big. That girl's a good jumper. That's a good picture. I wonder if they took all those, yeah, they took all those pictures separately and then just added those girls. Johnny, my husband, is sort of a, um, Okay, here was where those things... Oh, look. I think we're going to have to take them. I think we're going to have to use... I don't know. I don't know if these go with... So we have the fun girl on the fence. I don't have anything to go with a cup. I'm not just going to make something to make something. Okay, we're gonna. I'm going to cut that out, and I will be back. So... We have a gal. Well, I wonder if she's this page. No. This is why I don't really do the one magazine collages in this book, because I have so many backdrops already. But this is the CR fashion book. I'm going to move that magazine out of the way because it is giant. It is, I'm going to measure it for you. It is 14 and a half inches by 11 inches. So this is a giant, giant, giant book. Okay. There we go. All right, but I think you're going to like where we're going with this. So let me show you. We have, so our main girl is going to be like this. Most of her's going to fit. We're going to cut some off, but I like her feet the best, so we're going to keep those. We want to give her a little bit of a neck, so maybe we cheat her neck a teeny bit, but look how cute these Tom Ford glasses look. Well, let's make this a paper doll. So we have these three parts of her. I got a hippie. <laughs> that lady looks like a hippie to me. Okay, so there's one thing we have to do with her, though. So whenever I do, like, glasses, see if we're going to do her glasses, we're going to have them come over here. And then we're going to make them look right on the bridge of her nose. But I never cut them apart until I get to where I'm going to work on them because you could always lose half of them. So, we are going to cut those apart, and we're not flipping them around or nothing, because she already looks freaky enough without us turning them around. 
And I think they're going to look like that, right? <laughs> that looks a little funny, but I like it. Let's see. Yeah, it's got to kind of go to that, like that. Oh, like that. I kind of want to get her eyes even. There we go. Like that. Okay, so let's first off hook these together. Just get a little bit of glue back there. Okay. And then let's glue this down, her eye. So I'm holding it real tight with this finger. And now I'm gluing it with this finger, with this hand. There we go. Oh, I might not have gotten down far enough. Nope. Okay, and we're gonna get okay, glue everywhere. I'm gonna glue this eyeball down and her the bridge of her nose. Yep, I felt like I got a lot of glue on the bridge. There she goes. She looks cute. This is really nice paper. All right, so now we're gonna stick this girl on here and I don't need a huge neck, I just need a little neck. So let's do all of this. We're gonna do down here, maybe a titch around her neckline so we make sure that gets stuck. And you'll notice her neck is way bigger than what we need, right? So the way I make paper dolls, and I did a whole video about this, so if you wanna see it, you can see it, is I stick their bodies to their real necks, and then I come over here, and this way I can cut right up their neckline and their jawline, and to me this feels like such an easier way to make sure their necks are the right size than to try to cut their neck or to, to have like a little strange neck. I don't know. I just, I find this to be the easiest way to do it. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Always turn it so it's easy for you to cut, right? Okay, there we go. So we have that now. She's so cute. She's so cute. All right. Now we're gonna go kind of to the back. There's those Karens. I'm using those in another project today. Okay, so we're gonna come back here. And she's gonna be right there. And then this girl, we have to decide, is she gonna be on top? Well, she has to be over here. And then I feel like we could cut off her thing she's sitting on. Do we want to move this girl over a little bit? Ooh, that's kind of fun. And then I have a bunch of fun um, colored stuff to use for the background and then some, so we have to decide, do we want, I think the, the yellow is going to be too distracting in the back to be a border. So we're going to use all red this red and green, let's do that. Oh, I kinda like where we're going with this. All right, so first off, we need a background. So would she look good on a red background? Boop, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna get just some red paint. Okay, so this is candied apple and abandoned coral. Um, and this is distress paint. So first off, we're going to get the page a little bit wet. We're going to get the paint on. I'm going to have to buy some more candied apple. I'm running out. Get a little abandoned coral in here. Squirt the paint, squirt the paint. Here we go. Let's find a brush. Well, I guess I could have found a bigger brush. That's kind of a, I got kind of a weedsy brush, but that'll work. 
Okay. So we want to get paint up here and paint down there. And since this is distressed paint, you can um, mix it with water and also it's gonna dry super fast, which is something, first off, I live in Florida, so that's kind of a big deal to me because some of the stuff that I use, honestly, I wind up waiting, you know, having to go away for like, half hour, 45 minutes to get it to dry where the distress paint just kind of dries on its own. And I don't have to wait so darn long. I'm just trying to fill it out. I don't need it to be filled out completely. I'm not, there we go. That's good enough for government work. As we say here in the Jacobson household, Johnny works for the government. Okay, so let's, let's see. Put her on here real quick and see how big we want this border. Because we may not want the border. Yeah, we don't want the border to be huge. So let's just make it big enough. I kind of feel like these guys go this way. So maybe, maybe even cut off a little bit of that. I like the, I like the texture of it. But I want her to be the star of the show, not the border. And this is... I don't know if I told you this, but this is the nicest paper I've ever had in a magazine. It's just wonderful. Okay. Oh, I love this piece. I might make that piece. I'm making that piece a bottom over here. I don't know if you can see it. Let me move it up. With this long journal, I try to move it around so you can see everything, but it's not always possible. But no, I'm trying. I know I'm trying. <laughs> That's a big joke in our family when we say we're trying and then never mind. If you got to explain it, it's probably not as funny as I think it is. I'm going to put this guy, kind of the one that matches it, up in that opposite corner. And I may get little speckles of red paint on it. Yep, I did, but I don't mind. Ooh, I got speckles of red paint on me too. I look at all of that as texture. Okay, so we have a fun piece. I always think a fun piece is going on the side. Do we want to do, because there's some really cool texture in here. I don't want it all to be red. If it's all red, then it's just kind of boring. So we're gonna have red and tan. I know that looks really crooked, but it's because I cut this side crooked. This part is straight. All right. What was I thinking over here? Oh, I need another piece of tan. Like just a plain piece of tan though. I'll show you why in a sec. That's in there, that's in there. Okay, and now I wanna put this over here, but I wanted it for something for it to land on. And I want something for it to land on over here. So let's do, this is a really pretty part. Let's do that pretty part right here. So, one of the gals said that she likes, I think it was Lisa, um, she likes to see the other parts too. And so, one of these days, so I always say, oh, I didn't put any words here. I might come back and do this or whatever. But what I do when I'm not feeling super creative but I want to do something is a lot of times at night, if I'm watching TV or trashy YouTube or something, I will come along and I'll take one of these pages and I'll doodle it and I'll go around the edges and things like that. So I'm thinking I might do a whole video where I show you some of the extra stuff that I do to some of these pages after you guys go away. Um, and if you think you would like that, let me know and I will put it on the list of videos that I might make in the future. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to put this all the way around and I will be back. So when I started following stalking Tisha Moore and um, in some of her older journal pages, if you don't follow her, she's posting on Instagram again um, or still, I don't know. I follow her on Instagram and she makes some cute, cute pages now too. 
Um, but I was always trying to figure out how she wound up with such cute little things in like the borders of her pictures and stuff. And then I realized, oh, it's because she puts cute things in the borders of her pictures, right? Like she did that deliberately. And so there would be little hints and peaks of things that were an addition. So then I just started cutting out kind of extra things sometimes if I saw some cute stuff to put in the corners of my pictures. So like that little oriental dude is going to come up here and be in this corner. And you may see a bunch of him or you may not. I got a panda bear kind of situation going on down here. I don't know if I love the panda bear, but I do love this like fireworks. So we're going to put that on there. Just put that down this side. Cute, cute, cute. Okay, it just gives you something else to doodle around, to have a little bit of interest. Okay, I can color in between her arms in red. I'm fine with that. I think our gal goes right there, don't you? And then we cut off behind her legs. So let's go ahead and stick her down. We don't have to go all the way over because this one fence post is going away. We can always add it back in if we wanted to. Might make it, I don't know, we'll see. Okay, get her hat. I know it's a little far down, I'm sorry, but boop. There we go, she can go right there and sit on her fence post. I like her. See, we could have put the fence post under here but I think that would just, like it would take a lot of effort and I don't know it would look that great. And now we can stick, oh, what do we have? We have a ton of, do we wanna like do that over top? Oh, I kinda like that. We've got that. Do we want to do this over under her? No, I like her. I like you just the way you are, but I don't mind having some extra snuggy snuggies around. That's gonna be covered up by most of her. So let's cut this one off here. We'll put this down this side, right? And we'll be able to cut off another little piece. Maybe we kind of make this a border edge. The more you can have kind of interesting around, you like at the end of the day, if it if it becomes too much and I don't like it, I can just paint this red and it'll just look like some texture in there, right? So there's no there's no harm in gluing something down. You can always fix it. I kind of like that. I like what we're doing along the edges. Let's stick this one on. And then let's see if we need this sh silver stuff. Oh, we covered up that whole thing. Okay, so then do we wanna do like a, I think I do. Okay, I'm gonna do like a snuggie off the page to wherever it goes, right? So this is gonna go up here and this is gonna come down here as far as it'll go. Nice. And then that's gonna sit up in there and be the top of that. Do we want it that way or do we want it this way? Well, I kind of like it that way. I never know which way I'm gonna like something. And a lot of times I wind up liking it the way it's been sitting around for the longest time, but not that time. All right, so we're gonna have it come into there. This is gonna go into there, and this little sneaky guy is gonna come over here. And then we're gonna glue her down. She's not very Frankenstein-y. So you don't always have to have crazy, like the, if we didn't have the Tom Ford glasses, I feel like she would be too plain. And I'm probably still gonna doodle or do some stuff with her to make her look cute. 
But this is not one of those crazy big-eyed girls, a billion different things going on. This is just a really cute magazine collage that is just fun to look at, right? Everything doesn't have to, I know. <laughs> I know it's really sad of me to say everything doesn't have to be a crazy magazine collage with all the crazy magazine collages I do, but just FYI, everything does not have to be a crazy magazine collage. Okay, I'm gonna let her, oh, I got red paint on her. Can I get it off? Nope. Okay, I'm gonna let her sit and we will be back. Okay, we're finishing up the biggest magazine in the world. And I worked on her. I don't know that I'm ever gonna get that to stick on the, the edge, but I did her eyes. I think she just looks super cool. Um, I outlined, I wasn't sure, a lot of times I might go around with dark and outline, but I did want to for sure grab this and put a little color maybe just around the edges. And this is a pit pen. This is a um, India ink pen. And it's not gonna, it's not the same as a, it's not opaque like a, um, like a paint pen would be. It should just give us a little bit of highlights. And I may even wanna go darker. We're gonna give it a second to dry and then see what happens. Cause sometimes it will um, show up real good, and sometimes it doesn't. And I just want to kind of highlight our gal. But I don't necessarily want to do it with black. That could be a little bit. Okay. And then I do want to kind of add some zinginess. to the border. So I'm just gonna go on, and I don't know if you can see that. I just did some up stripes that way. And we'll do some across stripes this way. And this is a Posca, or this is an all for one acrylic pen. I have found, I like the, the Posca pens the best. Um, this one I think is more expensive than a Posca pen and I don't love it as much. So you just need to find the kind that you like and then collect them. So if you see my giant bag, don't feel like you have to go buy that all at once. I've bought them when they're on sale at Michael's. I've bought them when they're, um, you know, my daughter sometimes will get me a Michael's card and I've just accumulated, oh, see, that really made a difference. That made it a little jazzier, but not too fancy. Um, I have just accumulated them over time. I didn't go out and spend hundreds of dollars on paint pens. I just picked them up as I went. Oh, and sometimes you can find them where they're buy one, get one. I know I just had that with um, Joann's. I was there and I went to buy one and the nice guy said, uh, you know, you get one for free. And I'm like, okay. Uh, so we're up and down on this one. And see how that just highlights it, but it doesn't scream where these are opaque. You'll see those lines. Um, and then, do we want to, I think I kind of do want to do something. We could do red. Okay, so the only thing I really would do, honestly, is red dots on here to keep that same kind of color story. Because if we did a different color, um, it would jump off and then you would be noticing the red dots. Or like, so say we did um, purple, that's not a color that we already have in here. That would be, you would look at that instead of looking at our snazzy gal. 
So you want to think about, you know, on your border, are, are you trying to make it cute and interesting or are you trying to take away from your actual design? And I don't want to take away from my actual design, but I did want to kind of break up all of these um, kind of stone looking things. So I'm going to make these circles and I will be back. Okay, and I don't want rows of dots. I want them to be kind of broken up. So you'll see sometimes I'll specifically go out of a row. Now, you could make this as fancy as you wanted to. If you wanted to, you could go around and um, do a white circle in the dots. So a lot of times you guys will see, uh-oh, I missed a whole setup here. A lot of times you guys will see me do this, but then when I... Uh, like when I did Bertha Blessed's um, one, she's like, uh, you have a lot of secrets. So what I'll do is some days when I'm not feeling super creative, but I feel like coloring, I'll come in and I'll doodle on parts of my designs. Um, and that's just sort of fun. I just maybe fancy them up a little bit or do something like that. So... I think this turned out super pretty. Um, other things I could do that I'm not going to do right now, I would consider heat embossing some of the stuff. Like I would do this, I would do these, I would do this fancy girl and this string. And that would be like, it would make it not necessarily stand out, but be a feature. And I might do that. I'm gonna do that right now and I will be back. Okay, I have never in my artsy life seen a substance that eats the embossing liquid so much. Um, so I put a number of layers on the ones that I thought were really important, like her eyes. This is going to dry a little bit different color because it can dry through the back of the paper. I left some of these fun little speckly bits around. Oh, I didn't do this. I thought I might do that, but I'm not going to. And she's mostly done. Um, I like how it turned out. This is kind of my jam with a little bit of weirdness and things like that. If you were looking for perfect... Um, embossing i would say i would probably mod podge or do a, a medium over it and then do it because that um that european paper ate the embossing um liquid so i love it hopefully you do too hopefully this helps tara jacobson artsy fartsy life